Hey y'all, and welcome to Story Time with Mr. Denby. I hope y'all got y'all can of Christmas cookies. I always like these during the holiday. You know, everybody don't celebrate Christmas, but everybody loves cookies. <laughs> Which one is your favorite? I like these ones that look like pretzels and they got sugar on them. Mm, mm, mm. I love them. Mm, mm. Anyway, I know. Mm -mm. I'm talking with my mouth full. I'm going to finish that later. <laughs> Today's story is an old Christmas story. We have heard for years and years and years the night before Christmas. Look at this picture. Santa look like he got on um, Converse. <laughs> he don't have his boots on. Santa got on Converse. The night before Christmas. Now this story was written by Clement C. Moore but illustrated by Antonio Javier Caparo. So this is a different illustrator. And I love the way the illustrations are. And I know you're gonna love it. Anyway, let's go on and get into this story. Twas the night before Christmas and all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. Everything was quiet. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas would soon be there. Do you have stockings hung at your house? I forgot to hang mine this year. <laughs> The children were all nestled, all snug in their beds with visions of sugar plums danced in their head. And mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled our brains for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn, there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window, I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw open the sash. I like these pictures. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave luster to midday to the objects below. When what to my wondering eyes did appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. You know who that is. <laughs> With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment he must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles his coursers they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. I don't know. You ready? What's the names of the reindeer? Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen. They never say Rudolph. <laughs> you know, that's the famous reindeer of all. <laughs> 
to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky, so up to the housetop, the coursers they flew with the sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. So he was out watching Santa fly his sleigh. Santa was going from house to house. I thought you were supposed, you were supposed to be asleep because if Santa come in and find you woke, I don't think he going to give you your gifts. You better go to bed. <laughs> and then in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. Uh-oh, that means Santa made it to his house. He better run and go to bed so Santa will know that he's not up. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed in all fur from his head to his foot and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. Because he came down the chimney, look at him. He was down that chimney. I hope he didn't see uh, the boy. I hope he had him. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimpled, how merry. His cheeks were like roses and his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow. And the beard on his chin was as white as snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl of jelly. He was a chubby, he was chubby and plump a right jolly old elf and laughed when I saw him. I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. Do you think Santa saw him? I hope not because he wouldn't get any gifts. He's not going to get any gifts. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk. And laying his finger aside his nose and giving a nod up, the chimney he rode. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim, ere he drove out of sight, Happy Christmas to all, 
and to all a good night. The end. I hope you enjoyed that story. I got one more special treat for you. Let's sing a quick song. Y'all, I just love this song, and I always like to sing it when I read this book to my students. And it's called Must Be Santa. So all it is, I'm going to ask a question, who's got? And you say, Santa's got. And you just say whatever I said. If I say, who's got a great big cherry nose? You say, Santa's got a great big cherry nose. And then at the end, we're going to say the last three syllables of every sentence, like cherry no or ho, 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 cherry nose, cap on head, suit that's red, special night, beard that's white. And we're just going to keep going. It'll be fun. You can do it. Here we go. Ready? We can do it. Let's do it. Let's do the last part really fast. Go. Reindeer sleigh, come our way. Let's try it. One, two, ready, go. Reindeer sleigh, come our way. Ho, ho, ho. Cherry nose, cap on head. Soup that's red. Special night. Beer that's white. Must be Santa. Must be Santa. Must be Santa. Santa Claus. <laughs> I hope you have a wonderful holiday and a Merry Christmas. If you celebrate Christmas, have a Merry Christmas. But whatever you do, enjoy spending time with your family and your loved ones and the people that you are around. Love you.